hello folks so in this video we are uh, going to create a docker file uh, you know to create an environment for our flask app so if you remember or uh, right we uh, developed this machine learning model multilinear uh, rotation model and uh, then we created a flask app to basically uh, host or utilize this machine learning model in the background to provide the predictions for profit a, a particular uh, you know um, startup is going to have okay or uh, or as a matter of fact uh, the venture capitalist who is investing in this particular startup would be able to know whether uh, this particular startup is going to give him or her a profit or not based on certain parameters so now the next uh, uh, process is to host this uh, flask app uh, using doc container on azure cloud so we will keep our app.py and requirements.txt file in the same directory where we have our docker file right so requirements.txt file is nothing but a file which contains the details of all the packages required for python program okay in in our case it is app.py uh, so in order to run it without any hassles so let's create this file with the name uh, docker file and inside this uh, let's include commands to create the base image force uh, so let's uh, create the file. Okay, so type command touch Docker file. Then vim Docker file to use vim editor for creating this file. Then press I to start the insert mode. Then type command from Python because we are including the Python base image here and the version is 3.5. Okay, select. Next, we will include, include command called work tir slash app. Okay, so we will set a working directory here. We are setting a working directory as slash app here. So next, we will copy all the contents of the current directory we have to the container at slash app folder using command add dot because we are copying from uh, current directory so dot is for current directory okay to which directory slash app okay and then next we will include uh, the command to install all the required packages which are mentioned inside the requirement uh, requirements dot txt file so the command for that it is run install hyphen hyphen trade uh, host and then pypy dot python python dot org hyphen r requirements dot txt okay so run pip install trusted host run pip install trusted host pypy dot python org because that's a repository and then requirements dot txt now in order to uh, in order for the outside world to access our uh, flask app we need to open the port 80 right and for this we will write a command like expose 80 okay so like expose 80 to expose the port 80 okay now we will define the environment variable as okay so env uh, name environment variable name as let us say um open to uh, okay and now we will include the command to run our flask app and uh, the command for that is cmd which i already introduced in the previous video right so mm, we are using python to run that program python hyphen sorry comma app dot py okay so this is will be the command you can also you know for uh, your uh, no basically it's a uh, best practice you can include the 
comments here as well to basically uh, like tell the outside world or the developers other developers uh, for which particular uh, purpose this command is being used okay so this is to use python as base image <coughs> use working directory so using working directory slash app okay then maybe copy all the contents of current directory to slash app directory so uh, basically these are the comments and uh, some informational comments telling other developers why I am using these commands right so this is for installing required packages and open port 80 okay then set environment variable and then run python program so this is the way we command some informational comments uh, to give uh, a developer information about what exactly are we doing here okay so again press escape uh, then colon wq and then exclamatory mark i press enter to save and exit out of this file then see the content of this file like here docker file and you can see the contents whatever we have mentioned inside of this file so now this file uh, we are going to uh, use uh, to basically uh, create an image out of it and then that image will be uh, basically uploaded to the repository and then we can utilize it for our further uh, uh, you know application so our application is to run this flask app on azure cloud platform so for that we have built the container we are going to build the container and to build the container we have to build the image first and in order to build that image we need to have a, a docker file so we have included certain steps which we are going to run here on uh, docker uh, environment to basically run these uh, run the flask app okay so this is it for this video guys uh, i'm going to cover next uh, topic in upcoming videos so thanks for watching